So we're all told, cut salt, cut salt, cut salt. And uh, until recently, sugar was kind of fine. Very odd. And this is where I, I, I worry that uh, this is the title of the talk, isn't it? Are we blaming salt for what the sugar did? Because it turns out that if you have type 2 diabetes, there's a particularly strong effect where your kidneys will hold on to salt because of insulin. So you have higher insulin and insulin resistance that causes your kidneys to hold on to that sodium. And then I agree, sodium does bad stuff. But why? And this question why, we must ask it again and again, why? So you're holding on to the salt. Nature, actually, this thing called homeostasis is brilliant and it's there to keep us in balance. So we were designed, if you're on a salty diet because you live by the sea, did you die? Because you couldn't cope with the salt? No. You didn't die because we're adapted to get rid of salt. But if you become diabetic, you can't get rid of the salt as easily. Then, when you go low carb, goodness me, I mean, how many pints of urine do you produce? It's so surprising. And actually, I'll admit, I did measure it with jugs. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. This salt business kind of depends on sugar, I think, quite often. And that we don't need to worry, perhaps, I should say, perhaps, we don't need to fret too much about the salt that we put on our food if the diet, if we're not diabetic, and if we're not taking loads of sugar, because it's the sugar that starts the problem. It's the sugar that starts the problem.